Hi guys, in this video we're going to make a little Pikachu cake. So I've got two cake boards, a bigger one that I can fit the whole of Pikachu on and a smaller one that his body will just fit onto. The smaller one wants to be nice and thin so that we can cut a shape into it. So I'm cutting around Pikachu and I'm going to cut off his ears and tail. I could actually get away with a slightly smaller board I think for this one. So he just about fits on that one there. And what I'm going to do is just draw around with a pencil on the back. I've turned my image upside down so that when the board's turned around the image is still the right way up. And I'm going to cut around that. Obviously the thicker your board the more difficult it's going to be to cut. Okay, so I've got his basic shape that our cake will go on to. And then we'll cut out his ears and tail to keep for later. So taking my larger cake drum now, I'm going to use some white and red fondant and we're going to decorate it so it looks a bit like a pokeball. So we're going to roll the red out nice and thin a couple of millimetres in thickness I've left it. Don't worry about covering the whole board, as long as you know you've covered half of it, then that's fine. And I'm trimming off the edge. I'm just using the back of my knife this time to neaten up those edges. And I'm measuring halfway across on here. And I'm just going to use the metal ruler that I have so that I can put in a single straight line across the middle. And then we're going to do exactly the same with the white fondant now. And then I'm going to put the straight edge on before we add it to the board this time. So try and match that up to the red, give it a little bit of a rub. If you need to use a smoother, then you can do. And then we're just going to put a strip of black fondant now across the middle. I'm not going to worry about the little circle that goes in the centre of the Pokeball because it's going to be covered by the cake itself. So just roll this long enough to go from side to side on the cake board. And I'm just using the ruler again so that I get a nice straight line. And cut up the other edge as well so you've got a nice straight line. Just make sure there's no jaggedy bits along the edge and we can place that right across the centre, like so. And then just trim off the edges and then I'm going to work out where I want my cake to go. So I'm just putting the cutouts on just to make sure it all fits because I don't want to put the body too high up and find a cut squeeze on the ears. And I'm just pushing this into the board while it's wet just so that I can make a mark so I know where to put my cake once it's decorated. So I've just got a sponge cake here. Now I'd sliced it quite thin so I've uh, managed to make it fall to bits a little bit where I've gone a bit too thin with the tears. So I'm just sandwiching my cake together with some buttercream. Just make sure your cake is large enough that Pikachu can fit on with plenty of space to cut all the way around the edge of him. And then I'm going to buttercream the cake board that we cut out and we'll stick that on the back. And then we're just going to trim the cake around him. If your cake's crumbling a little bit when you cut in, just put it in the freezer for 10-15 minutes to firm it up just a little bit. And then once you've cut all the way around the edge, we can start shaping the cake itself. So I'm going to trim a little bit off around sort of the top edges of his face so that we've got a more rounded edge. And then I'm going to take a little bit in, so sort of cutting a little wedge out below his head on the body. And we're going to keep shaping, taking little bits out sort of next to where his feet and his arms would be using your template as a guide and then we're going to cover the whole thing in buttercream. Again, it's a little bit easier if the cake has firmed up a little bit. So that's why, you, again, you might want to put it in the fridge or freezer just for another 10 minutes to firm it up. So once it's buttercreamed, we can start covering it in fondant and I've just got some yellow fondant here that we're rolling out large enough to cover that little mini cake that we've made. And you can, you can do it bigger than I have done, but because it's just me that eats them. <laughs> Uh, the bigger I do, the more cake I'll end up eating, and I didn't want to eat too much cake. <laughs> so we're pushing the fondant on all the way around, make sure it's tucked in nice and tight around that bottom edge. And then I'm just using a modelling tool, so just pushing a little bit under the head at either side, trimming off all the bottom bits. And then again, I'm just using my modelling tool to go in next to the arms and legs, just pushing in a little bit. Again, if you look at the piece of paper that you've got on it, have a look at where all the lines are, and you can indent the lines with your modelling tool. I'm just pushing in a little bit of the front of his feet so it looks like he's got toes. I don't think you can see it too well on the camera. And again, a couple of lines on his back feet so it looks like he's got toes. Stick your cake onto the board with a little bit of buttercream. And then we're going to give him tail and ears. So I've got some of my leftover yellow fondant. I'm going to roll it out. I've kept it reasonably thick because I don't want it to be too flat to the board. And then I'm cutting around the template of the tail. And I've got a little bit of brown that we're going to cut a zigzag pattern into that will just go on the very bottom of his tail. I'll just trim that down so it fits a little bit better. And then we're going to stick some water on the back of that and push that into place so it's laying on the board itself. And we're going to do exactly the same for the ears. 
So I've kept the fondant quite thick again. Just cut around that ear and then we can stick that in place on the side of his head. And for positioning them, just again, have a look at an image of him so you can see how high up on the head they go. They don't go to the very top of his head. And now I'm going to add a bit of a shadow that he quite often has in images, which are just under his chin. So it's almost like a little curve of a deeper yellow. I'm doing it in fondant. You can do it in um, edible food dust if you prefer. And I'm cutting thin strips, just pushing it in place, and then I'm cutting out the lines where their front arms would be and I'm going to remove those little bits and just keep it to this little bit on the bottom. Now you don't have to add this shadowed bit if you don't want and I'm going to add some ovals of it to the bottom of his feet. If it comes over the lines that you've drawn for the toes just push them back in again and then I'm back to some red for his cheeks. Just roll out two balls, squash them down so we get some circles and push those on each cheek. Then we're going to give him a little nose, almost like a tiny little tic-tac kind of shape. Put that right in the centre of his face and then I'm just roughly marking on where his mouth wants to go. I'm going to roll a long thin piece now for the mouth itself. I'm going to cut it in two and stick it on in two halves. Make sure you curve it round in place. If it doesn't want to stick just add a tiny bit of water underneath the fondant and then we want two black circles for the eyes. So just started with a ball and squashed it down flat. If you've got a circle cutter you can use that instead if you like. Again just roll a thin piece of black that we're going to slice in half and these are going to go on the tips of his ears and then just trim off any extra off the sides and then we want a little ball of white in each eye and you can leave it like that if you want or in this picture he's got little bits of brown so I'm going to add some little bits of brown to his eyes. So just small little sausage chips, squash them down and we'll give them a bit of a curve and they're going to go in the bottom of each eye. And then in the centre of each of those brown bits, add a slightly paler brown, just a small dot in each one. There we go, there he is finished. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out some of my other Pokemon videos. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.